igama ungamashuma mabe na nechano ngapandi kani kuitolo pia kukomani kuilali ya sepulhok kusistreko sa senta belanga kulapo ikaela masirayeli limi kona kulapo lulele kona abanga sekoyo oko bangwa jelwa kulendao ngengayo kuinda apa epulhok ngonyaka ka 1921 Abanye balithatha eli kwinto njengoloqala elabula labaninzi abamnyama ngenxa yomthetho wezokuqala uqalulo emzansi Afrika. Umbuso ngokuba kutheni lingathathelwa ngxalelo ugwinto lwasebulhook njengezinye iziganeko zomzansi Afrika ezihlasimla umzimba ngogwinto lwaseSharpville noqhanqalazo lwabafundi basesoweto ngonyaka ka 1976. U inok mgejima, nguyena kanyo wa SM42 ni lwa Sebul Hook. U inok mgejima, wa yengu mkokeli webanda, elisazi wangu ba yi Church of God and Saints of Christ. Abalande li baake, ama sirayeli, babe mbona ngu ba mprofeti. Mgejima ya 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 yengu mprofeti, ku uwa ya kazi ngeza kwenze. Abandu, abe ne confidence ku ye kakulu, and kateta, Wayeteta, a tetu kuta bandu bambe. Ukuze abandu bamlande lom kitima, kuku to umkitima, eben um profeti, ebenez into ebez bona at aukaba as a tete ebanduin. Abandu babona ukuti lo, masim lande, kuba into ebez teta bez senzek. Yo londo gang wonke um tebelande laye. Kolu quinto, kwabela imibuzo emibini ekani lay. Ukuba ingaba olu kwinto, luenzi wakuba ingaba tingelu ino kumkijima abandu bebandi. Eko kela ngo kolo. Okanye babe tibene nezo mbusazo, befuna ukuzmele kukulu mente wela tresha. Zona mpembelele uzika ino kumkijima kukuba no mbono kukuba ama sirayeli alinde entabelanga belinde ukupela kwelizo no kufika kwenkosi. Benga konda ngukuba balinde ukufa kwabo. Kwa banyi abandu uino kumkijima kwa yene nga keba ekubula weni kwa masirayeli. Abanyi ba mtata ngukuba ababandu bazenza iti ni ngekwa shale ngunezelo. Kukuba ukufa kwabo kubanika itemba. Entabelanga ye le ilali inesikitana e sayo e kutuwa indabelanga apo umkichima waza lelua kona na lapo ya kula kona ingonzo le ingonzo bendite it's the church of God and saints of Christ ukana kwa ke wae ngu mzingene kwa kwa a phone that was a scholar of Sese Bullhook. A woman is called. What does I impeel at Sukapekai a pill of a school in Upper Twin Clog and a Quasu Quebec egg? A boy is called. Uzami legate, no longer Tashuba, Magafunda, a Guapuna Lego Funda. While we again was and my brothers, the Kazazin Abanda Babi Fundles, and as he says, calling in a cat in a cat in Coma, Saco Cabone, Pusha, Nepo. You can go my landos and my solusa, a figure is in me born. A buzz about a band to act from Fana, Wednesday, Antonio Puye. I be in a lumi born, a man about Ban said his dress of Wednesday. I took us on the team full. I took us off in Balela, in Balela, I fig and say, Bam Capella Gangolo, Shoguba, Untonemibon. Was a banami bono, ye, 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 Na talandula nyani ifele paya. Wati bana pake no tiko emkalele. Pa landula, eti bana pano tiko emkalele. Oko koko kuba, uya mtuma. Ekwelein, wasuka paya, wafika wesha kulenta. Wati tiko ndivumi. Prophetess 
Tati minyake mitatu kubawu inok amkele ubizo luwake. Kwa ati ukulula inkwe nkwezi uheili ngomshaka April 1910, umkijima wa ukukula lombono. Na jengoko wa ilinde ikwasha eli idele ngelo lobizo luwake. Wabaku kulela kuinkolo ye testament endala. Kwa kungelo kwasha wabali lizu labandu ngenkolo yake. Ebazi sangu kucha ngenkolo ya kutala ya masirayeli kumshaba wa maafrika. So abantu bebe nenkolelo engapha yakuye that's why noba uthetha ntoni waye waye manyelo ndingenza nje umzekelo kwinkolo yabo amasirayeli bathi ngela xesha ukuba ngaba kungathi qi noba inkomo inkomo ithi qi igreen bathi xa ebuze umprofet injani lo nkomo athi yena ngoba bekholelwa kuye xa ithi green nobi red baza ukuthi igreen because they've got that faith well, there are many religious movements in the world that follow uh, prophet leaders. I suppose we could say Christianity and, and uh, Islam are two such religions. And so in the case of Imgajima, he was a prophet who came from that area. Uh, he had been preaching for probably 15 years before the Bullock Massacre. And so his followers were extremely devoted to him because they had enormous confidence in what he was saying and what he was predicting. Uh, to see Gijima being uh, powerful and his people following him uh, and he didn't want to go to places where they originate uh, lies in the fact that if you, you, you read the Bible, it says, believe in his prophecies, believe in his prophets, you will prosper. Pasika ka 1917 apho ino kwa pina waba no mnye mbono. Lo mbono wa chincha imbali yelo kresha. Umkijima wabono mbono wabandu anabeleli panzi inya uzabo zi pezu le moyen. Wawukukulela lo mbono. E siti kuza bako imfazwe eyona ya kea bangulu. Lonto itetu kba umshaba uya pela no tito uyeza. It was 1917 third day of the Passover, which was held at Mkeula, one of the villages at the hill. He saw this vision of children lying on the ground and uh, he interpreted, according to my knowledge, as the Buluk massacre, which was coming. He was revealing this um, about the Israelites, not only Israelites, but the black nation. You, you have heard about the uh, Shabville massacre. You have heard about Queenstown massacre and the rest of the massacres, killings of the black nation and the Israelites were a part of that nation. And all these things were revealed before 1921, long before. Uteo mkijima nga imile pagat kwa bandu ii inkonzi kwele. Wati chuta fraime Joseph nizizwa lana. Wati bavile. Basabe la bandu babuya kulo longi lizu. Chuta fraime Joseph nizizwa lana. He saw a multitude of people. And most of those people were, were not known to him. And therefore he was given this to call those people to converge to Ntabelanga. 
which we call it a sublime call. The Israelites settled at Entabalanga as a result of the prophecy of their prophet Enoch Imgajima. Uh, sometime, and we're not exactly sure when, it could have been in 1919 or early 1920, he made a statement in which he called upon, uh, in essence, all the nations of the world, but all the followers of the Israelites to gather together at Entabalanga and await the end of the world. Once this group came to Mtabalanga, when we, we think there were about 3,000 followers at, at that stage before the Bullock Massacre, the fact that they were living together, sharing uh, the sacrifices, uh, that kind of reinforced their loyalty, their fervor uh, to support Mgajima. Galonyaga ka 1920 umhlaba wase Bullhook wawuncinci kakhulu ukuba angathatha uninzi lwabantu abaza e Bullhook baza ukwenza umnyadala we Pasika u Enoch Ngijima wenza isicelo somhlaba omkhulu ku hulumente wele uxesha phansi kuka Smarts lo mhlaba wawubiza ntabelanga u hulumente azange ayonwa bele lento yokuthatha komhlaba wamangesi the issue was that the previous government uh, had a problem with what is happening in Puluk because people from all over Africa, they come down to Dabelanga to hear what the prophet Mkichima is saying. And uh, during that time, there were, there were many acts that stopped the people to go to Dabelanga. The white farmers around uh, Dabelanga, they have a, a problem with because they said they are their ships are stolen by these people. The prophet Mkichim was supposed to have a permit of doing that, of having a, 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 a Passover with many people at that time. And also he didn't have a, enough space. Then he went to Queenstown, to the authorities. And then the authorities allowed him to, 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 to have a Passover. There was a, something said by the authorities that after the Passover they must go back to their places. The, the problem now was that after the Passover all these people didn't go back to their homes where they come from. Jerusalem. <laughs> Negotiations between the government and the Israelites, they, they took place over a year and a half. So initially the government uh, was using local officials, the local native affairs officials, uh, the Queenstown magistrate to negotiate. And for them it was a straightforward legal issue. And the legal issue was that the Israelites were squatting on land that was not theirs. The plan of salvation has three important or fundamental elements. The first one is the land. A nation is not a nation without land. If the nation, especially a God-believing nation, does not have land, it will not be able to practice the statutes of God. That is the challenge that nation will face, as is the case to us today. The second one is plan, and the plan is nothing else but law. And the third one, is the man. In every land, there will always be a leader. Those are the three fundamental elements of the plan of salvation. They are still Paya Ilando and Dabilang. You are threatening she that is the white government. Because if you can look at history, you look at the Land Act 1930, 13% of Ilando land was given to Africans. So there were 
They have no place to stay. That time, the rights of the black people in this country were taken away one by one. And therefore, the stage was set for a sublime intervention. And that intervention was done by Enoch Jain Kichim. In Native Land Act, Gat 1913, Etiabela Amashumi Asipos Ubuninzi Bumshaba Wilizwe, Kubantu Abam Shope, Abangangangisitlan Ubuninzi, Ikubega Iti Akukom to Ungengui Oebala, no Fumana Umshaba Kananjalo is seven and Jenga Makalela and Nunizelo, Iatia Landela, Umakula Matato, Eminyaga. The Native Land Act of 1913 came uh, during the time when Kijema was collecting uh, or preaching in, at Ndabilanga, and most uh, authorities of that time didn't allow them to stay at that allotted place. Only the, the, the people who were given the opportunity to stay there were the people who were um, at, their, at their role. The Native Land Act came on that purpose to drive away these people who are not authorized to stay at Ndabelang. They wanted them to go to the mines to be a source of a cheap labor. The government was not able to get the land and get the land and get the land and get when Ntabalanga was uh, established by the prophet Mgajima, uh, it became a symbol uh, for many Africans living in, not only in the region around Queenstown, but uh, throughout the Eastern Cape, but in other parts of South Africa as well. And I think what it stood for was that it provided an alternative to white rule. They were self-sufficient. Uh, they created their own offices there. They had their own surveyors. They had builders. Uh, in other words, they were creating an, an alternative society. And perhaps most importantly, uh, they told their followers they didn't have to pay taxes anymore to the state, and that was a very attractive thing. So the Israelite uh, encampment at Intabalanga represented a, an alternative to, to white rule. Zazi siya zi wakaka mapula wa yepete e bulhuk. Kungoko isebele zo mteto la yela kriba. Ekben u mteto uya funeka ukba kukaniswe e bulhuk. Ulu shuluwa benyusi luwa lu funeka ukwenze lukba susa. Pansu kwa mteto uwenzi wei Native Locations Act wa 1884. Ukwenze lukba ngusisa kumshaba wengosi. Ama sirayeli ashala ngengani. Aamba ayotibana neka la lama polisa. Benga vumususwa ukanyupaliswa. In 1920, there was an inspection by the authorities. They found out these people are here permanently now, not temporarily. They built houses instead of pitching tents. The authorities sent uh, Colonel Trude and uh, another policeman to talk to Mkichim, to tell these people that they must go. Colonel Trudeau said he, he is given an instruction by the government to talk to Mkichima if he is reluctant or these people are still here, he is going to remove these people by force. Uh, Colonel Trudeau sent uh, two policemen so that they can have a, a database of all these people that are not living in, in, in Dabelanga so that they can be removed. 
Amasrail, Naba Befika, Futan, Nenelandosa, Nene Register, Befuna, Bapalama Kamawabo, Mazayba, Gobani, Nobani, Balap, Befunu identifier, the politicians, Nabandaba Fundileo, Abacoyo, Kuba, Kaplaming, Ababa, Iba influence, Nubak Beko Lengonzo, Nangolso, Kubanga, Abefun was Londo, and Teto and Kalotash. So the white population have seen this uh, black sect sitting on the one place called Nabelanga and um, um, Kijima being their leader, trying to influence them. So the, black, the, 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 the white population have seen it as um, Kijima was trying to overthrow the white population or was trying to persuade these people not to move out if the whites come to chase them out. At a higher level though, people felt aggrieved that this was their land and it was being taken away and the government was imposing itself on their land. I think the government opposed the Israelites probably the last six months before Bullhook because they had become become a symbol for opposition to the government. So in other words, they were, they were concerned that the Israelites were an example that other Africans might follow in defying the, the government. It is actually a symbol and was taken as such a symbol of refuge. Because remember, 1921, or a few years earlier, the 1913 Land Act had taken away so much land from Africans or natives. And as such, even those like the father of Enoch uh, Mkijima, who were successful peasant farmers, all of a sudden found themselves not having anything. The larger issue, I think, is that uh, the South African government uh, was a fairly new one. The Union of South Africa had been created in 1910. The government had the power, but they really didn't have legitimacy in the eyes of most of the people of the country, most of the black people of South Africa. And so when it came to the con confrontation with the Israelites, the government was very much concerned about how they appeared, how they looked, when in negotiating with the uh, with the Israelites, so in the white community, the government felt like they had to uh, deal with the Israelites with a, a strong hand. Otherwise, they would be seen as weak and compromising and uh, unwilling to to deal with with black people. In the black community, uh, people were observing the Israelites, and they saw that the Israelites were defying the government. They saw that they were uh, challenging the government and the government was, to a certain degree, was backing down. So in the end, I think the government felt they had to confront the Israelites, lest the Israelites become a symbol of a group that could actually challenge the government and stay independent. Mwomsaka 21 May 1921, emba kwenye mabano na masirayeli, inchoko ya mapolisa u Colonel T.G. Truta, wapala inwadi e balela u inog mkijima, emnika iskribu esinyanzi lesiweyo. U Truta leleta e balu mkijima, uti mkijima, sukani apa kulendao. Lendao, hindao ka government. Batu mkijima lendao, si nikuwa ngutiku, utikwa ulate lendao, ilondo si me apa, asesoze si endao. When the Israelites refused to back down, and when they refused to go along with, with government uh, injunctions uh, for them to leave the area, that's when it escalated to another level. To Enoch Mgijima and all associated with him and styling themselves Israelites at Ntabilanga, you are hereby notified that upon instruction of the government, I have come to Queenstown and will arrive at Ntabilanga on Monday the 23rd instant with adequate force. You are warned, however, that any resistance to lawful authority will be drastically dealt with. Commissioner, South African Police, Queenstown. Bandu abo, ababe kumele, ababe 
namandla okuhlala besithi siyahlala apha endabela lili zwili katiko elithemwa sihlale apha endabela asizela ngamfazwe nakuchitha ubukhurumende nakulwa nabantu abamhlophe abanqonga indabela thina sizothanda I understood that you sir were coming out with an adequate force and if resisted will drastically deal with we are here praying to the god of our fathers therefore we do not believe that jehovah will allow it i have been praying the government about this matter for a very long time until now and i'm still praying the government to allow the israelite to pray to their god you are informing us that you are coming out with an adequate force do you mean that you are coming to war against the god of israel If you then sir Mr Truta are coming out to make war please inform me I shall then write or say my last word before you destroy me yours faithfully EJ Mkichim The people who believed in Enoch Mkijima believed that there would be justice served during the time of great calamity by following him literally and strictly they believe that they had to defend their right their land and they believe that god would intervene as promised on the other side government was wary of any piece of land in the country being rendered ungovernable or outside their reach so they saw Mkijima's defiance of several warnings refusal to engage as one such rebellion which was cooking one of the israelites uh, who was at bulhook told me some years ago that He used this phrase when people rally around the word of God they must be prepared to die and i think that signifies what many of the israelites were were thinking uh for them this was a question of uh following uh their prophet and and what he was uh, preaching and they were extremely loyal extremely faithful uh to his uh prophecies and to his preaching and so they they understood that uh if they stayed there and if they confronted the government and the police force uh then it was likely that they might die if there there, there is an ultimatum the, what is going to happen next is the bloodshed we are just pushing the same stone the same rock but we are pushing it spiritually we are fighting for freedom but there is no freedom until there is a shed of blood. U Colonel Truta waye wathi makuthunyelwe amapolisa angamakhulu asibhozo ekomani. Umgijima waxelela abalandeli bakho ukuba bakhululekile bangahamba ukuba bayafuna. Kodwa bonke bahlala. Umtshana wakhe u Barrington Gijima wathi kuye. Ukuba ubona ukufa apha. Uyeke ukufa kuqale apha kuthi thina bakwa Mgijima. Umgijima waxelela abantu bakhe ambani nyofela inkosi. Kodwa ayikokufa oku. Gensi Mbiye Stoba ngomhla ka 24 May 1921 amapolisa ayokulindela kumgama okufutshane phezu kwamawa avelele ilali leyo On the 24th of May it was General Smart's birthday and any event enkulu kwezi zikhulu uh, SCT Tina Masraeli they were celebrating uh, as or events ngokubulala abantu abamnyama amase yethu yo amajoni la athi wona uhurumente wayengena uthi kubantu abangaka or bangakanana athuma ile over 1000 soldiers wayenothumela inani elinganena
ungijima unqibe eso sinqibo sibomu esa sicacile kuba lo mkhosi okanye elqela liphansi kwaqolo licacile ukusiveza sicace esa sinqibo sakhe ukuba sibomu wayebona kala kakuhle phakathi kwamadoda alithoba inguye lo waye ngengomuntu umfushane ngesithomo waye ngengomuntu uphakamileyo kodwa waye indoda enesidima enewonga lobudoda Amasirayeli aqibezele inkonzo yawo yakusas baphumela ngaphandle ukuyokwenza umfuziselo wabo wesiqhelo amapolisa acinga ukuba abukele umjuxuzu wemfazwe emva kwembini amapolisa amathathu azame ukuthethisana namasirayeli amathathu kodwa zange bavane ngokuhlwa amapolisa acela amasirayeli ukuba anikezele akwenze kanto The government when they looked at the Israelites from a distance they saw the Israelites marching drilling and the Israelites do have a series of marches that they do during their uh, religious observances uh, they also wear uh, swords and scabbards attached to their their tunics and so when the government looked at the Israelites they thought they were a uh, a group that was organizing a rebellion an armed rebellion against the government and so that was one reason why the government believed that they were dealing with an insurrection, not just a religious movement. It's not a war dance. The way Tina is it describing it, it's uh, we are marching. Maybe you've noticed, Gogo. That song is saying we are rejoicing to our king. It's a way of praising or worshiping. God, that is the way they are doing it. Yes. I've collected evidence from both sides and I'm still not clear what started the battle. Uh, the Israelites say that police and army units fired on them first and of course they responded by attacking the police army lines because as they say they had to protect their women and children uh, in the village. Uh, the police say the Israelites charged first and they claim that some shots were fired but when the police went into the Israelite village all they could find was a uh, an old rifle. My suspicion is that a policeman or an army soldier fired off a weapon and that started both sides with the uh, with the ultimate battle. When the soldiers came into Ntabelang, Bazitweza uh, Mikosi Yabo demonstrating Ukuti Baba Ninzi Ganga Kana Nina to frighten the Israelites. Baba Ninzi Ganga Kana Nina, Bakulu Kanga Kana Nina, Mkoswabo. It was the first time that South Africans uh, to, to to experience uh, or to see uh, the big arm of that nature. The Israelites, of course, charged and the police uh, fired back. And uh, the battle itself took only 20 minutes. Uta Tom Kuluwe to Philip Mshaban, Waya Mfundis, Bateka Bemboza, Abelung, Bati Umbuena of Philip Mshaban. What is an errand in Goy? Why are you begging and let us out the two to a pine double? Wow, pants, a queen, a quack, a pansy, a senna, um, perfume, the white bamboos about to umbo elder Philip from Sabanoati, yes, but to some land, the lanaum kitchen, what a good cheek. I'll be a chill, Bavele, Bacupa, Israel, Bam Bezel.
kwimizuzwe ngamashumi amabini emva kwesithonga sokuqala imfazwe yaphela abantu abayi 183 bonke bengamasirayeli asala efile kumakhulu asibhozo samapolisa kwenzakala labalinye kwafa nehashi elinye ngoba ubusuku amasirayeli asindileyo ahumba amangcwaba yabathatha insuku ezine ukungcwaba aba basiwelekileyo kumangcwaba amathathu amakhulu we are those remnants of those people who were who were uh, uh, the result of the massacre actually ndabelanga is our spiritual home and queenstown uh, seems to be the headquarters Amapolisa aqhubela entabelanga bathatha u-Enoch Mgijima. U-Enoch nomtakwabo u-Charles Mgijima babe kuqela lamasirayeli ayebanjiwe egciniwe kwizisele zasekomani. After the massacre, Enoch was uh, present, was charged of sedition. The rest of the women and children were forcefully removed while people were prisoners were still in hospital and in prison here in Queenstown. The, the police went to Ndabelanga to destroy all the houses that were built unauthorized. All the people who were at Ndabelanga and Amkijima were forcefully removed and were taken here to Queenstown. And people were just tipped there like heaped rubbish. And you go la buto la bando abasa la pa Ndabelanga. We la ngwa balikul. Kubaba ngwa chola enda wenenye. Deba nins. While we are in the town, we are rejoicing with the government, with the general smarts. We are rejoicing. 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 Commanded his soldiers to 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 attack the unarmed uh, 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 people, uh, church people, children, and old people. At that time, within the political cycles, the matter was debated even in the white parliament, with some members saying that this matter could have been approached differently. But of course, it didn't have the same response as your Sharpeville or the 1976 massacre of students. Because at the time, you didn't have the mass media on the scale that you have. The white government felt that it had actually imposed and asserted itself and was able to confront any other challenge from black resistance organizations. The unfortunate part here is that you cannot divorce politics from religion. Because in religion there is justice. In religion there is peace. In religion there is care. If the government is doing something wrong, it is the duty of the church to tell that government that what you are doing is wrong. Umkijima was well like a match five in 1928. Got why it's away Yamasirayeli is a corner. Eco money tabernacle, Gundlunkulu Wabu, Nangona in Tabelanga, Yao Soloko Ilikaya Labo, Mugase Moyen, Nam Sanja Yaziwan Jenga Church of God and Saints of Christ. Ama Sirayeli, anama kwenbu ama nintzi kuyo yonke impuma koloni. Nekawe iya kula na kwe zinye indawo apa emzans Afrika.
Nkichima was a prophet. It was therefore his duty to make sure that there is peace in the land, that there is justice for everybody. Well, I think he was a very committed religious figure uh, whose message did have political overtones. You know, I'm, I'm very cautious about using this word fanatic to describe anyone. And so you could say that he was extremely commit, committed, he was devoted, he was passionate, um, and certainly he was militant about what he was saying. He was not prepared to back down, uh, especially to uh, the government. So in this particular case, this, this uh, Mgajima and his followers were, as we have said, prepared to die for their beliefs. So I, I think that involves a lot of things. And a lot of people have taken the Israelites to have a political message. I don't think they intended for their group to become a political movement, but the very fact that they challenged the government and of course uh, made enormous sacrifices, I think that signified a, a major statement, not only for them, but for uh, people around the country. Tingati passionate. The reason why, it's because of the blood that was shed in Boluk in 1921. And that makes us to come very close to one another and to love this church because we feel that a lot of blood was shed and they died for us. <laughs> Ifuna makumbulo okubhlungu esasala thina sisalela abasabantwana bakhe indlela esahlala sakhula ngayo emva koko sishiwa singenanto kushiya kudilizimisi asabi namandla okuyivusa lo musi ngoba ngaloko sakhula ngoko kuthathwe lonke lifalethu apha sasina ukuthengisa noba inkomo sozakwaka kodwa sasingenanto kwanyanzele ukuba nathi Isas Kataza, who are a cock closure, a safe man, a cool mentor, and a pambi, a gagazi, goody, and the name Buyakas of Kuti, Gabaz Alibet. The importance and the significance of Bulwok massacre today is one, a reminder of the struggles that people went through in response to dispossession by white colonial government which was a predecessor to the apartheid government. The second one, it's how states from time to time use force instead of understanding the conditions of people at any given time. Because the state in essence would have monopoly of power and violence. And thirdly, such massacres are never forgotten by the followers. Even decades, even after a century, people still refer to that, and the people of the Mgijima Church still regard that mountain as sacred. They still congregate there, and they still have that sense of memory as a weapon of all times. The independent African churches like the Israelites, were an expression of the great calamity that Africans were experiencing. And they looked to spirituality, they looked to salvation, and they looked at some forms of divine intervention. What happened must never, never, never again happen. <laughs> 